Hi, in this video, we're going to use Terraform and we will import existing infrastructure to our Terraform state. And we're going to do it for the following components, for networking, for DNS and for compute instances. And let me show you in AWS account what I have right now. So we can see that I have the VPC, two subnets, two routing tables, internet gateway, NAT gateway, security group for Nginx, and I have the Nginx itself. Okay, let's get started. Let's create main file. And we're gonna start by importing the VPC. And you can find for each of those resources, if you follow this link, you can find exactly how you can import the state. If you can scroll all the way down, you will see that here you can find the example and uh, here you can find what needs to be uh, used in order to import this resource. For VPC, it's going to be VPC ID. Okay, let's start by running Terraform in it. And also you can find all those uh, commands and code in my GitHub repository and the link will be in YouTube description. Let's import VPC. We're going to run Terraform import statement. Now let's create two subnets, public subnet and private subnet, and let's import the state. Let's import for the public subnet and for the private subnet. Now let's create internet gateway. And also, as I said before, you can use this link to find exactly what you need in order to import the state uh, down in the, on the page. So let's import this internet gateway. Let's create a resource for Elastic IP address that is used by NAT Gateway and import the state. And to import the Elastic IP address, you need to use the public IP. Let's create NAT Gateway and import the state. Now let's create two public routing tables and also associate them with the subnets. It's going to be four objects, public routing table, association, private, and another one. And let's import the state for them. Let's import the public routing table. And this is going to be ID and private. Association for public subnet. And for private subnet. Now let's create security group for Nginx and import this security group to our Terraform. To import security group, we're also going to use the security group uh, ID. Let's create Nginx instance and import this instance to Terraform. And now the last step is to create um, public hosted zone in route 53 and then create the, a record for Nginx service. And we're going to use a reference to this resource in order to create and use the IP address. So let's import the hosted zone and a record. And in order to import the hosted zone, you need to use the hosted zone ID. And in order to import the DNS record, you need to use the hosted zone ID, then underscore, and then the DNS name and the type of the record. In my case, it's going to be a record and let's import it as well. All right, we just imported all of the state and to verify that everything is correct, let's run Terraform plan. And you can see that there are no changes needed. You can run Terraform Destroy as well. Just to verify that your resources are under your control. All right, it says 14 to destroy. Let's cancel it. All right, if you like this video, you can watch another my video where I explain how you can create the AWS VPC with Terraform module, open source module. Thanks for watching.